Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from the RightTrader.com back again with another cryptocurrency video. Today I wanted to talk about the fact of is Polygon, also previously known as the Matic Network, uh, a good buy right now or is it a time to potentially sell and buy back lower? Uh, I am bullish on Matic long term. I actually made an entire price prediction video explaining why I was so uh, bullish on Matic long term and even medium term. It's pretty much one of the you know networks and uh, layer two solutions that is really leading the way, right? And to be honest, I think it's the only uh, layer two solution to Ethereum that's really going to succeed, and I think it's going to grow tremendously in value because people will move over from uh, you know the the layer one Ethereum network to Polygon as the layer two for those cheaper transactions. Uh, it's the direction we've been heading on. If we look at the actual total value locked right it has absolutely skyrocketed and yes we have slowed down a bit temporarily right around this 10 billion dollar level uh, in total value locked you can see it's been pretty stable in the last month barely even dropping in total value locked and uh, despite that we did see actually a pretty big drop in terms of the price but if we actually look at the um, market cap in price movement on Polygon, right? It's uh, not even in the top 10 yet, and it's basically one of the most active crypto networks right now, so you also have to think about that. But right now, the total value lock pretty much mimics exactly the, um, sorry, the, the market cap pretty much mimics exactly the total value locked, which is very good, and that's what it should be, right? So expect the these two to follow each other. So when we go back up in terms of total value locked, you can expect uh, Matic to, you know, uh, replicate that same exact price move in terms of market cap which will you know in turn have a direct correlation with the increase of the price right so if we end up at 20 billion dollars you know basically a bit more than a, a two times increase from where we're at now you know almost a three times increase well you can expect the, the price to move three times as well uh, all three of these are directly correlated like i said and uh i'm also going to look at the chart here because that's really what we're going to look into the, this video but also just wanted to point out that, you know, you can see by this article here, DeFi projects continue flocking to layer two solution Polygon. This was only one week ago. Uh, it basically talks about, you know, the um, amount of, you know, wallets and decentralized applications that are moving over to Polygon, right? And it's really to escape the high transaction fees on Ethereum, which is what I said, right? It's a much, much needed solution and basically a necessity right now. Uh, Mark Cuban also is very bullish once again on Polygon. He has invested in it and he said that Polygon is destroying everybody else uh, because, you know, it's basically a fully functioning network. There's a lot of other projects that, uh, you know, are promising a lot of things but don't have anything to show for it, whereas Matic is actually working right now and it already has the momentum, like he said. So now, right, any other project that's going to compete with Polygon has a lot to work to do to catch up to the total value locked and the amount of users that are using uh, Polygon, right? And he emphasized that the longer they take to get out the door and not be vaporware, the greater disadvantage they're going to have. Like I said, this is pretty big because Polygon is fully functional right now and working at basically, you know, the some of the cheapest network fees around, right? And that is pretty amazing. Also, if you want to look at my previous price prediction video on Polygon, make sure to check out all, I'll leave a link in the description to that. And also, if you are interested in actually buying and investing in Polygon, the Matic token, which is the token of uh, the, the Polygon ecosystem, you can actually invest in it or buy it on Binance. It's the biggest exchange with the most volume, uh, you know, which typically means the best prices. And that is where I use uh, all, all my crypto trading. That's where I buy all my cryptos and invest. So if you're interested, I'm not sponsored by Binance, Binance. I just use them personally. I'll leave a link to them as well in the description of this video. And finally here, we're going to take a look at the actual price chart. So on this most recent drop, right, I drew out the uh, uptrend line in pink over here. And we're actually going to put in the downtrend line because I'm sure a lot of you are kind of looking at that and being worried, right? So of course, uh, we can consider ourselves in a more safe position once we get back above this uptrend line. However, that's not certain to happen because I'm not going to lie to you. As much as I like Polygon and I actually did buy on this exact dip, I do actually see a potential to go lower that's not guaranteed, but it, we very well could actually head lower. And that lower level is going to be very precisely around 55 cents uh, because that's where our 200-day moving average is. 
and that is also exactly where we had broken out uh, to start this uh, big increase higher and we actually never came back and tested that level so you can see a bit of a gap there we actually only came back down as low as 67 cents but we never actually came back down to test the 55 cent 54 cent level and you know we could very well push a little bit lower down to 50 cents before really getting that bounce back higher so in that event right uh, there's a few way that that could happen I'm also going to draw out the um, horizontal support levels because that will also play a pretty big role in this and uh, we have two pretty strong support levels one at around 93 cents and another around 75 cents uh, if we do move back below a dollar though I can tell you that it is fairly likely that we will see a move back to 55 cents and at least 75 cents uh, but really it would make the most sense to test this 200 day moving average which would not be a bad thing and I would definitely buy more on this dip to the 200 day moving average because that, in my opinion, would be a great buying opportunity uh, because overall, right, I think Matic is going above $10. So in that sense, right, even at this price of $1.16, and even if we were to actually see a move higher and even recover into some higher levels around $2, you know, in, in that sense, Matic is still in a, an amazing buying opportunity. Uh, right now, our precise range is between $1.75 and that $0.93 cent level, right? So if we uh, remove these uh, trend lines right here for a second right and just look at the actual trend line uh, sorry the actual support and resistance level side of things uh, right now it is fairly likely that we bounce more to a dollar and fifty cents you know and then we can get a lot of up and down price actions uh, in this range here like I said between 93 and one dollar uh, and 74 cents and it is fully possible though that maybe you know this uh, uptrend line for example if we see this consolidation which is looking likely we could actually end up seeing I just noticed this 200 day moving average start coming up higher and then maybe we would see a bit of a move lower back down to 75 cents but if the 200 day moving average is at that 75 cents level when that happens right which could be you know only um, about a month and a half or so out uh, well we would bounce off that and then actually just move higher from there back into the higher level inch of the upper range and maybe even back above two dollars plus uh, as we would head towards a breakout you know basically back towards the all-time highs back above two dollars and fifty cents would really be that that level that we would be looking at right and I think that could absolutely happen so I'm actually pretty bullish on that uh, any drop you know even if we were to see the worst case scenario drop down to 55 cents I would consider that you know not even that big of a drop um, in the sense that you know right now we're at a dollar that's basically only a 50% uh, percent drop from here and uh, I would never see it going any lower than that or never really see Polygon uh, you know end up failing I, I think they've already sort of won that race and for that reason right it's just a matter of short-term price patterns you know if we're going to go to 75 cents um, or, or, or 55 cents at the worst to me it all doesn't really matter right because like I said anywhere in this level even as high as two dollars and fifty cents is still an amazing buying opportunity and right now it even looks like we're gonna get quite a bit of time between 93 cents and a dollar and 75 cents and this price range seems like a great area to accumulate polygon and I will probably try and accumulate as much as I can myself uh, with that being said like I said if you do actually want to purchase Matic invest in it check out Binance I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video if you want to learn technical analysis chart trading Make sure to check out my master course. It's less than $20, comes with a 30 day money back guarantee and has great reviews. Uh, also, make sure to follow me on Twitter for live market updates. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Stay safe and have a great day. I'll see you next time.